What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna have ourselves a little Christmas competition. Yeah, we do this every year. We are doing a gingerbread house competition. We got mini ones this year, so hopefully they don't take too long. Yeah. And you guys are gonna decide who wins this battle. But real quick, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also make sure your post notification bells are turned on so this way you guys are notified every time we drop a lit video. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, are you ready to open up and get to it i'm ready are you ready i'm ready but who won last year i don't remember loki i think it was you no i think it was you honestly i don't remember either way i just think these go terrible for us but you guys <laughs> be the judge and let us know in the comments when we're done who did best but let's get it well now that we have many ones maybe it'll be easier we'll see we will see but getting right. a head start all right so what are you starting with first because i'm about to copy you i don't know because like what is this supposed to be a window are you sure i'm about to copy you like how i did in high school Bruh. All four years. You're the reason why I graduated, Loki. Hold on. Wait. What? How is this a house? Do you want the box? It's supposed to be a cottage. So it's supposed to be open? <laughs> so I think it goes like this. Bam. One over here. And then the other one on that side. But then why, where's the ceiling? That's what I'm saying. There's no, wait. We're supposed to break this apart. Are we? Where's the box? Yeah, grab the box. Yeah, we're supposed to break that apart. Okay. okay. These, this is the roof. The roof? <laughs> yeah, this is the roof. The okay. one with the, the, the diamonds on it. Okay. All right, so if that's the roof. No, yeah, okay, no, yeah, we got to break this off. Okay, we're already off to a bad start. Wait, it's like this every single year. It's because Ooh, candy. we don't like following directions. Let's be real. Directions are for suckers. <laughs> oh my God, these are good. Uh, they're always good. Yo, these taste like, like nerds. Mm -hmm. This frosting looks like cottage cheese, and it's actually making me cringe. Should All we do right, that thing where like... My pieces on. Should we do that thing where like we like talk smack to each other? <laughs> I think that just comes naturally, honestly. All right, so I'll start it. You're already off with a bad start. Yours sucks. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm trying to make mine stick, but it's really not. I'm just trying to make sure mine stays standing. That's exactly what I just said, but does your icing look like ricotta cheese like mine does? Yeah, but don't be saying that. It's disgusting, actually. Don't say that. All right, I'm going to build it. I'm, I'm gonna build it like this. So this one comes next to it, like that? It's your house, baby. Do what you want. Oh, so we not helping each other now? I see. Nah, man, we're past that stage. I see how it is. This is where the smack talk comes in, and you know, this is where I wish you all the worst. Wow! <laughs> I am supportive of you! Are you, though? Yes. Are you? Yeah. Because you just told me my icing looks like ricotta cheese. Mine does too. I just asked if yours looks like it. All right. So you want to be like lovey-dovey about this and like support each other? No. Now your ugly house can It's not even a house. It's a fall. wall. It's a wall. Well, it's a wall now, but it will be a house. And it will be. When it is a house. Yo, you're my biggest hater. <laughs> it's going to be really ugly. Since high school, you've been my biggest hater. That is not true. How? Because I've loved you for an eternity. <laughs> so why'd you play games all four years of oh high school? Oh my gosh, are we really talking about that right now? Yeah, why did you play games all four years of high I school? I didn't. You had a girlfriend, so I wasn't... There were plenty of times where I didn't have a girlfriend. No, you had girlfriends like freaking every year, a new one. And don't lie, like you did it, bro. Bro, freshman year? Okay, freshman year, oh, half. Oh, 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 oh. Half of freshman year, yes. Sophomore year? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Junior year? Yes. <laughs> yes, and you helped me break up with her. Oh, I did not help you. Yes, you did. You gave me advice. You were like, you said, and I quote, you should really dump that fat. No, I didn't, bro. No, you didn't. You Don't didn't say all say that. that. You didn't say all that. But you did give me advice on how to handle the situation. Who? Well, you. Uh, that was sophomore year. That was no. not junior year. Yes, it was. Was it? Yeah. No, you yeah, you're right. It is. Yes, yeah, sophomore year. You're right. Yeah, exactly. Junior year, you kept that relationship. What are you talking about? The relationship that you were in junior year. Didn't you keep that relationship for a long time? Uh, a little less than a year. Yes. Yeah, so a little less than a year. There we go. But then you came along and screwed everything up. Sorry. Because you confessed your love for me. And then I was just like, oh, I can't pass up this great opportunity. Well, so, I mean, I did do that, though. You did. And what was crazy was that you did that and at the time my ex-girlfriend was one who actually picked up the phone and was like why is she texting you and she saw the message and she was furious but you know what's crazy let's really get into that so do you want to get into that do yeah you really why not? want to get into that why not i don't know so what's crazy about that is i'm off to a great start i don't know about you oh my gosh yours looks so good actually. i'm off to a great start babe how is your staying wait what the hell is going on over there how is your staying 
thing though. How, how are you applying it? I'm literally, before I've like put the pieces together, I'm like putting the, I'm like putting it on the bottom. Yeah, and but look at it, mine. On the bottom look, at, sticking. look at my icing. It's the same. No, mine is like watery, look. Babe, it's the same. It's because you're using it like the warmth of your hands is starting to melt it. Oh. It's the same. Okay, okay. Let me, so should I just put them on? Like, yeah, you got to get to it, baby. All right. And so, like I was saying, honestly, Isaiah never kept his relationships for long. So, I honestly just felt like he was going to be single. But then this last relationship he had, I was like, oh, why is this, like, lasting too long? She was getting impatient. I was. And I was just like, every year, I was kind of not ready to have a relationship. So Every single year. And I'm like, bro, why? Just give the boy a chance yeah i just wasn't down to like get my heart broken because i got my heart broken freshman year and it was like really bad nobody was trying to break your heart actually i really did get my heart broken bad freshman year no me i'm saying no one was, yeah, I was like, not trying to break your heart after that i feel like i didn't trust anybody like any guys in high school and like i really liked isaiah to the point where it's like if i were to actually be in a relationship with him it would hurt me so bad if he were to like play me so i wasn't trying to play you i was well, trying to, i was trying to impregnate you wow in <laughs> high school man no let's be so for real oh yours already looks better than mine i'm, I'm done my roof is sliding off so i'm like trying, what, what oh no yours is coming out fine no it's not you just gotta straighten it out straighten it's it ugly. out ugly my cookie is crooked no you got it straighten it out oh my gosh it's about to fall apart anyway so what were we saying so yeah that's pretty much everything like i thought that you were gonna break up with her eventually you didn't you stayed in that relationship for a really long time probably because there was like no point of like breaking up with her because i'm like yo janice is not confessing her love for me yet so really that was like your whole thing <laughs> like be for real it was not because nah, i, I no. eventually lost feelings for the girl and it was oddly enough around the same time that you confessed your love for me i know coincidence you're probably like oh my god no you broke up with her because janice came along which maybe oh. but i always knew i wanted her i don't see the problem i honestly had no issues with this girl i just was she like, had issues with you i know but you would she be would the same me dirty way looks in the hall no, no 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 i had no beef for her but she would give me dirty looks in the hallway and like no but would, think about it if you what? were in his in her shoes mm -hmm. and somebody randomly confessed they love to your man this you was, opened up the message this you would be before. mad too like this was before though because no, but i'm saying afterwards just forget before no but i'm saying she would give me dirty looks before any of that like just because we were friends so she is the one who had beef with me i think it's because she always knew like that something was up bueno that's not my problem like don't that's... they say like a girl's intuition is like never wrong uh kind of so i mean she always had feelings about know. it yeah Mm. I just feel like me and Isaiah had like so much history that like you shouldn't have went into that relationship if you knew that we had unfinished Bro, what's, business. What's crazy is that all my girlfriends in high school all, all knew, hated me. They all knew about you. I know. They like always had that feeling like yo, this little mother effer is like in love with her and is not saying it and is in a relationship with me. And I'm like, yeah, and what about it? And I'm like, that's not my fault, bro. Like, I need a run. Oh, babe, yours looks better than mine. Look how ugly mine is. Ah! What the hell? Yo, it looks like yours got attacked by a blizzard. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You got to figure that out. Babe, it's so, so ugly. You have to figure that out. This is how my icing is coming out. Like, I just don't know. Oh, I got to work. I got to put some uh, decorations over here. Oh, wait. I, I feel like they didn't give enough frosting. Same. Icing, whatever this is. Well, we're gonna make this work somehow, some way. Not Just gonna rub this in. Give it a good old rub. But uh, yeah, that a little is. Rub and tug. Well, first of all, <laughs> that is our high school relationship drama. Mm -mm. It went way deeper. Oh, do you really want to get into it? Like my my ex or whatever? Yo, I can't stand you. What? The one time you brought him on the bus. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was actually very ugly of me. You, yeah, you were mad annoying for that yeah and then you kissed him you I kissed did. him after the bus went to go play basketball with all of our friends right mm -hmm. she pulls up with this guy she kisses him i think it's my first time mentioning all of that she kisses him i did in front of me while i'm playing basketball while i'm in my zone dropping buckets i honestly didn't think you would see because you were so i saw it because i couldn't stop staring at you for obvious reasons and then i see you over here like mm, 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 mm. i'm not gonna lie i don't know what it was i was just so obsessed with him and he wasn't even who, your ex? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why either. He treated me like literal garbage. Like, 
freshman year, he cheated on me with like three other girls. And here you are. And literally the whole time he was telling people that he just wanted to hit, what, as what I heard. And like his ex-girlfriend bullied me and like, it was so bad. See, I would never. And all I ever did was like kiss him and that's it. And like, I was going through all of that and everyone was saying I was doing more stuff that I actually didn't do because I was really innocent. Yeah, um, Denise was so like, not about anything in high school. Yeah, I wasn't like about any like nasty. Yeah, she was like stuff. super clean. Yeah. And for some reason, I still wanted her. Like coming from a Christian, I was like raised, like not raised Christian, but I was very like, I had Christian beliefs in high school. And so I never like was into like all the stuff normal teenagers were into. All the, the freakiness. Yeah, I was not into that. Like I was just not about it. All I know is, I wanted you back done in every single way possible. Oh, I know. And you just did not give you me You know what chance. actually made me like not want to be I know with what it Isaiah? was. I know what it was and you can say I don't care. So he we were I talking about I was mad about, honest with you. I was mad honest with you. We were talking about virginity in high school and I was like, "Oh, I want to wait till marriage, blah blah blah." And he flat out was like, "Yeah, I can't wait that long." I couldn't, bro. I'm a, I'm a growing teen. I'm like 16, 17 years old. I'm in my prime. You can't tell me that I got to wait until marriage. And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you have to wait until marriage. I get it. I do. But back then, that was not my mentality. And so hearing that back then, I was like, oh, yeah, he's not the one for me. Being that she was a church goer, like a heavy church goer. Yeah. I scared the hell out of her. Yeah, that scared me. So that is what pushed me away. And I really liked him, but I was like, nah, he's probably just going to be like every other guy. I just wanted to hit it and quit it in high school. And that's just not what I'm about. I was trying to hit it and stay, baby. <laughs> wow. Okay. At least you're honest. I was trying to hit it and stay. <laughs> Babe, mine is looking like basura. Can I have fun? I'm not going to lie. It looks a little better. Can I have frosting? It looks a little better. That's why you have this little corner thing that cut my whole thing open. Bro, I don't know why you did it like that. The one who like actually knows about this type of stuff and you opened it like that? Yeah, because we didn't have scissors. We have scissors. Okay, there's no scissors on this table right now. Babe, they're right across on the counter on that side. We could have just got them for you. Oh, well, I didn't think you wanted to get up. I think it's a little too late for that. Yeah. <laughs> Just about. Why did this become a tea moment right here? I don't know, we needed something to talk about. <laughs> but anyway. We so never like, spoke about it in like this context on our channel, like that deep. Nope. And that ended up right there, being the reason why she never wanted to give me a chance. Yep. However, I still tried and tried and tried. And then I finally got her. You know, I didn't get to do what I wanted, <laughs> you know, but I'm saying I got her as a girlfriend. <laughs> so I was like, mission accomplished. <laughs> But it took about four years of on and off, you know, just random stupid stuff. And then now we've been together ever since. So I think it was worth the wait because if I would have dated you in freshman year or whatever, I don't think you would have been mature enough to handle a relationship with me, honestly. Me? Yeah. Not mature enough to handle a relationship with you. I believe you were the one that were immature. I was immature? Bro, in high school, what? I was immature in high school? What? I don't think I was immature in high school. Bro, no way. So you're gonna say I was more immature than you in high school? Yeah, mentally, yes. You're crazy. When it comes to morals and stuff, absolutely. I'm talking about life. No, I'm, what do you mean? I was not immature. I was actually very mature. You're taking all my frosting. Oh, you need more? I'm not fond of it. I have a whole like empty roof. That's crazy. Oh. You use all of it. I did. <laughs> Look at my hands. Look at Son, I am done with you. <laughs> Bro, I don't. <laughs> Like, look how hers looks, and then look at mine. Babe, yours is all nice. I have nothing, I have nowhere to put the little candy. And you done made my whole wrapper over here sticky. Ew, they're sour. Exactly. They taste like nerds. You should tell them about the time with the security guard. You tell them. Nah, man, because he got me mad. He's blowing my spot. It's crazy because his son tried to kill me. Who, the security guard son? <laughs> yeah. He should have told me I would have fought his dad. <laughs> what? I would have fought his dad. Freshman year, but he was a senior. Who? Um, the security guard's son. I would have fought him too. Him and his dad. No, I just think it's crazy that he tried to get with me. I'm like, boy, I am a freshman. You know, he asked like me to like prom that. and everything, bro. Some people like like that. Yeah, not me. That's weird. Yeah, the thing with the security guard was, what was it? I got the tension after school or something like that. Yeah, and then I had dance. That's, oh my God. My nails are not allowing me to like place these where they need to be placed. So yeah, I ended up getting detention. She had dance. So oddly enough, we were both gonna be after school. What better way to hit on a girl than by yourself after school with <laughs> nobody else around? So I'm like, this is gonna go great. 
This is my chance. Mind you, I'm in a relationship, so. Yes. Yep, I know. Go ahead in the comments. Mm -hmm. He's a cheater. He's a dog. Roof, roof, roof. Yep, mm -hmm. that's me. <laughs> so, I end up, we end up like meeting, right? Mm -hmm. Forgot what it was. We end up meeting and we're like talking in the lobby of like our school or whatever. Within all that, the guy, the security guard, he asks us like, oh, are you guys dating or anything like that? And we're like, nah, we're just like talking. We're like friends or whatever. And then he called BS right away. He was like, man, he was like, ain't no way y'all just friends. And y'all over here being together after school, talking on a little bench together, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, uh, nope, we're not together because he has a girlfriend. Yeah, and you go ahead, you finish that story. She already blew up my spot. She told the security guard, I have a girlfriend. Yeah, I was like, no, we're not together because he has a girlfriend. So now it looks bad on me because here I am with another girl after school. And he was like, oh, I see. So he wants to have his cake and eat it too. I don't understand. Like back then in my head, I'm like, what is the problem? And he was like, oh, telling me, he was like, if he's not willing to break up with her for you, then Bro, he's, he's not the one for you. He's being a c block. And then he was like, don't ever let a man like have his cake and eat it too if you are um like the woman that he wants to be with he's gonna make you a priority saying all this stuff and i was like facts so he said all that right in front of me and i'm like this guy man this freaking guy is blowing my spot <laughs> not letting your boy live like what happened to guy code whatever happened to that like you a grown man worrying about the wrong things aren't you security go look at your, like the tv screens or something like that go figure Honestly, out somebody though, that's i was so something. grateful to him because that's how i felt i was like you're not about to be like over here with me because i am not no side piece ever and i never will be the thing so, is see, my mentality back then as bad as it's gonna sound was let me see if she's willing to date me because then if so i'll break up with this girl and what's crazy is that when we were having that conversation he was like, I. He was like, oh, um, my thing is, I'm going through a lot of family stuff right now. Which I was, I was going through my little personal stuff. And However, back then, I guess that that it wasn't really an excuse. Mm-hmm. Because I still had a girlfriend, so it was like, what was the excuse for that? One? Right. And then he goes, and so if I still want to be in a relationship after that. After I figured my stuff out. Yeah. Would you still like want to be with me? And I was like, yeah. Ah. So that right there. That's when I was like. Bingo. Guess who's going home and sending up a break text? Wow. Did nah. you really do that? No. Nah. Oh. oh, right. I remember. I ended up breaking up with this girl when she was in the middle of something. So I knew mm -hmm. she was going to look at her phone. So therefore, I wouldn't get a fast response back. Mind so I'm like, it'll be perfect. I could just send the text, drop my phone, and leave. Later that night, I went on a date with her. Mind you, I went on this date with him thinking that he been had broken up with her already. I did. A couple, no, a couple the hours same before. day. Yeah, a couple hours before. I'm thinking he broke up with her like days before. So technically, I didn't cheat. Oh my gosh. I didn't. But I'm sitting here like, okay, like after that whole conversation with the security guard, then maybe... You took my frosting and I have no decorations for my front. <laughs> I'm over you. I cannot believe you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like dry ass front door. Like I have a dry front door too. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I did pretty good with what I had. But... A lot better than me, babe. It's mad dry in the front. <laughs> mad dry in the front. At least you got a doorknob. I don't even got that. <laughs> mad dry in the front. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to put them on here, but my nails are too long. Bro, she literally just poured all the candy on like one snow spot and said, let's see what happens. <laughs> like, yo, you're wild. <laughs> I would lose a real composition like this so badly. It would be comical. <sighs> My freaking balls keep falling. Your balls dropped? Yeah, they like keep dropping, then you stop. It's about time. <laughs> all right, so I added more to the back right here, guys. I don't know if you guys can see. But that's really all I can do because somebody jacked my frosting. You know what? The creative people in the world would really make it a thing. All right, I'm done. So I'll just wait for you to be done. Anyway, we went on a date that same night. I'm single, so I have no guilt in my head. Single as a Pringles. Yep, I have no guilt in my head. Was that the night we kissed? No. That was a different time? Yeah. Okay, well, she pulls up to the movie theater where we're like our group of friends and she's wearing like this green outfit. You were wearing a green outfit. That wasn't then. We had, that was when we had went to movies with each other in the summer. We exactly, were, and I was with the girl still. Yeah, but that was just like a friend thing. That wasn't when we were talking. When we were talking, I wore a white shirt. Baby, we're being honest. We was always talking. Yeah, but not You had a like, green skirt. I didn't have a green skirt. Green skirt, green dress. You had something green on. A neon green uh, tank top. Something green. 
Anyway. But that wasn't that day. Whatever. It's something that replaces my head, so let me rock, all, all right? right. <laughs> so, yeah, she pulls up looking all fine and whatnot. And I'm like, yo, I gotta do something. I gotta make a move. It was too hot. My friends kept looking back at us. We're all the way in the back road, just us. And they wouldn't let us rock. Then we had a second movie date. Was that the um the Christmas movie one? No, you're getting everything all twisted. Twisted like tea. The first time we went to movies, we were not dating. It was summertime and we were just still friends. We would hang out all the time, even though we weren't dating. And so he had invited me to the movies with our friends. And we had went to see... Krampus. No, babe. No, NWA. The, no. What's NWA? Hmm? What's NWA? The movie. What's that, though? The one with Ice Cube, son? With Ice Cube and all of them. Yeah, NWA, the rap the one, group. Yeah, that's the one we went to see. And that was in the summer. And he just dropped me off home, and that's it. The time that you're talking about was Krampus. We went with Zamir Segundo, which is our friends. They're twins. That's when you kissed me. First time you didn't kiss me because we were not even. I talking. kissed you because you were trying to call my bluff. No, I was like, shut up. Yeah, you were no, like, no, no, no. I said, shut up said, to you. Shut up. And I was like, make me. So but she said, make me. So I'm like, aha. I'm like, she wants it. Yeah, so. I didn't like think that he was going to kiss me, honestly. You know you wanted it. Mm hmm. I guess. Mm hmm. It's okay to admit it. He kissed me so forcefully, too. I was Ow. like, damn, like you dead ass, like, I was like, make me, you were like, I was like, oh my God. Right, that was a bit dramatic. That no. Is, that is not how it went. Yes, it was. No, it was to not. To me, it was. Maybe because it, I made you feel like that. No. And then you were like, so how was that? And I was like. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> I got this, you got the story all messed up. You're trying to say I got it messed up. No. That night we kissed. Were we going out at the time? <gasps> I don't uh -huh. think we were. No. How long after did I ask you out? It was like a month. A month after? Because that was in September, and we were talking still. So, um, I remember I had pictures on the bus from that or whatever, and everyone, you were like, oh, it's gonna be too hot or whatever, like, we can't start dating yet. Because you had just broken up with your ex, so. And then, the day he asked me out was crazy, because it was a really bad day. We're not gonna get into that, because I'm done. It was a bad day, and to make a long story short. It was a bad day? It was a bad day for me. Well, I made it better. No, you didn't. What? You didn't. I yeah. asked you out that night. Yeah, but it was such a bad day. Why? Because of everything that happened. Tell me about what happened. Bro, all right, so then fine. So let's just say it. So that day, he ends up, like, my dream was to, like, take a picture for homecoming. Oh, man, no, no, no. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Long story short, she wanted to take a picture on homecoming night. I was like, yo, I can't take a picture. It's too hot right now, bro. I got, I got my ex's old friend group looking right at me i do this picture and we kiss they're gonna know and i'm like yo they're gonna i'm gonna get trashed all over like high school i'm like i can't i can't do that anyway and him doing all of that and disappointing me it was my dream since i did not know that, that was your dream you never told me that so we weren't even going out technically we weren't going out we were talking for like a month and a half already we were but we weren't going out yet yeah but anyway so this girl, one of his like ex's besties, came up to me and was like, um, are you guys dating? Because I'm sure he has a girlfriend. How did I have a girlfriend if I broke up with that girl a month ago? Yeah, that's Riddle what she said that. to me. And I was just standing there like, it don't make no sense. We're not dating. Yeah, again, this was in October. This was October 16th, our date. Uh huh. I broke up with that girl like end of August, early September. It was like, I think right before school started, if I'm not mm -hmm. wrong. But. Yeah, I don't know why her old friend group would just like come up to us and be like, yo, like, are you guys dating? I'm like, bro, like, you're blowing up my spot, bro. And he didn't, he just walks away and I'm just standing there like- I saw her walking anything. this way, I immediately walked that way. I was like, oh, hell So no. I'm just standing here like, what, what, what does she got to say to me? Like, so she was like, are you guys dating? And I was like, no. And then she was like, oh, cause I'm pretty sure that he has a girlfriend. And I was like, she was like, okay, sorry, never mind. And then they walk away. See how they were trying to set your boy up. They're trying to set me up so I couldn't. So now I'm like, did he not break up with this girl? And I'm sitting here cause I'm not about to sit here and be stupid. So that day, actually, I was gonna cut you off. That's crazy because then later that day, that night, homecoming night, after the football game, I drive her home. It's like maybe like one o'clock in the morning. And then I ask her basically to be my girlfriend in the car before no, she went to her house. He goes like this. So like, are we boyfriend and girlfriend? And I looked at him and I was like, you never asked me to be your girlfriend. No, I, I was like, are we official or something like that? Yeah. That was, that's what I said. So then I was just like, I mean, you never asked me to be your girlfriend. So not really. And he was like, okay, so will you be my girlfriend? And then boom, she said, yeah, I guess. And yeah, she got, I was like, she got mad red and then- No, I didn't. Yeah, and then she was just like, much. oh my God. And then she was like, 
No, I was not like, she was like, Diane, I'm like, yo, like, I don't blame you. Like, I was like, I guess. Like, what the hell? Like, why did you ask me that weird? Then he said that he loved me. Was it that night? Yes. I wasn't lying. You were like, oh, like. I, I already was... had known you for four years. He was like, yeah, well, I love you. And I was like, what the f? I was like, like she, I... she didn't say it back. I went home and I was like, yo, I'm stupid. I was, I was like, like, why would I say that? Um, that's a little moving too fast for me. But I like, did. It's hard for I, me I to say, did. I love you to like, my family i literally did so i was like man whatever bro here we are <laughs> here we are eight years later we're building yeah. gingerbread houses together and, and that I same day both of he took me to ihop after the game and both of our exes were at, were at ihop and my ex was talking to me at our table while we were eating trying to like be friends and his ex walked past and everybody's like oh we got a snack for you over here zay oh we got your girl over here yeah they yes yeah, just... that's why it was the worst freaking day ever i'm telling you man but they yeah they were, people were just trying to set your boy up man they didn't want to see me win all right so that yeah. that's that's that let's that's stop the it there. tea on our whole beginning of our relationship let's stop it there because both of our houses are done let's we go ahead and show all of that them out so again this is how oh mine my god looks. yours is so cute <laughs> missing some frosting but here's the back um i think it looks pretty good yeah yours is nice so that's mine I'm ashamed to show my ugly Drop house. a rate down below, one out of 10, how you guys think I did. I understand I'm missing frosting, just be nice. <laughs> Let me see. This is Janice's. I'm not gonna lie, it, it's not that bad, babe. It's, it's not that bad. It's really ugly. You just OD'd it with the frosting like <laughs> in certain areas. Like, bro, like what the hell is going back here? This looks like a trap house in the back. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, that looks crazy. Damn, you didn't show the back of yours. I did, what do you mean? They oh, saw okay. it. Anyway, guys, drop a rating down below for each of our houses. Be nice to me. Yeah, be nice to us, especially her, because, oh my God. Um, but all that being said, guys, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below again the rating of what you guys think. Anything else you want to say? Mm-mm. That, yeah. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> this looks like shit. <laughs>